one day, uh, we were invited in Paris to a, a small exhibit, very small, in a room twice that size, with 15 Van Gogh paintings, uh, mostly self-portraits, and some Antonin Artaud drawings and handwritings. And uh, uh, Julian took me very close to one of the self-portraits by Van Gogh. But that close, that the self-portrait was here, Julian there, and I was here, you know. We were three. And then he start, as a painter, and a very good one, he start to talk to me not about artistic aspects, but technical. And that was extremely interesting. For instance, he would tell me, look, Jean-Claude, he used three different blues, a Prussian blues, cerulean, and the bleu marine, you know, three different. And look carefully. We were that close, you know, and Van Gogh was listening to us. It, I, had, I was so moved, I could not explain that. My age, I was about 80, you know, to find such a new, totally, you know, unexpected emotion. And for a moment, we were there looking at that painting, I almost heard Van Gogh's heart beat. You know, it was very moving. I, I had tears. I, 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 I never believed before that uh, one day I would be so moved looking at a painting. And then after I don't know, 20 minutes. When we left, I had the feeling that Van Gogh was following us, you know, looking at us living. But that very day, we said, what about a film? What about a film made by a painter about another painter? And that's how the, the idea was born, you know. The last period of his life, when he was at overthrow, is the best of his life, is the best work he has done. He was working every day. He was painting one painting a day, which is an, an incredible, even more than, uh, than Julian. <laughs> I saw the film for the first time. I was, as usual, looking for the script, <laughs> as any screenwriter would do. And I found it, and I was surprised by the the aspect of, of the, the film doesn't look like any other film. It is a Barocco uh, film, uh, very personal. I mean, Julian is totally in it, and I like the second time I looked carefully at the way it is done, the work of the cameraman, which is excellent, you know. And, and the, yesterday, I was yeah, watching the film for the third time, I was moved to tears. To make a film about a painter with another painter, you know, I was thinking, what about making a film about Balzac or, or Shakespeare with another writer? How would it be? It's quite interesting to, it's like a triangle, you know. So it's, it was a new experience to me. I, I have written lots of uh, scripts in different languages different countries with many different, totally different directors from, from America to Poland to Italy to France. And this time it was something very special. I had, of course, really appreciate uh, uh, the, the five films he had already made. Because what's strange about uh, Julian is that when he was at the top of, of uh, the fame, you know, at the end of the 80s, all of a sudden, he decided that that was not enough, that he had to put the images in movement and, and, and sound. You know. And he made uh, five films, quite good, quite interesting. And then again, he went back to, to painting. 